Hello everybody and welcome to another Open the Book story. It's lovely to be with you again and today we're going to begin thinking about the Easter story. So we're going to do a few Easter stories for you over the next few weeks and today is our first of those. So I'm going to introduce our characters in our story today and also we'll be showing some pictures during the story. So look out for the pictures and listen along to the story as you look at those. So Pauline is going to narrate our story for us. Hello, Pauline. Hi. And in our story, we have somebody called John. Hello, John. Hello. And John was one of Jesus's close friends and disciples. And he wrote a book all about the things that Jesus did. And this is part of his story today. And also we have with us somebody called Demetrius. Hello, Demetrius. Hello, hello. And Demetrius was one of John's students who learned from him. And then at the end of our story, we will have Carol who will do our conclusion and our prayer. Hello, Carol. Hello. Okay, so that's everybody in our story today. <laughs> and now I will hand over to Pauline to introduce our story. Hello. Do any of you keep a diary? Well, I do. This is my diary. And I like to write down all the things that have happened during the day. Things that I have done and who I saw. Sometimes it's also fun to look at an old diary and read about what I was doing five or even ten years ago. A diary is also a good place to record special memories so that I don't forget them. Most diaries are quite personal things and only I and maybe one or two special people would get to read it. But in today's story, we meet a man who many years before also wrote a diary, a special diary that is read by thousands of people every day as part of the Bible. So let's open the book to the story of John's story. John was getting very old. His hair was gray. And in the evenings, he found it hard to see what he had written. But he was determined to finish his book about Jesus. He spent long hours gathering all his memories together. He was pleased with the way it had turned out, and now it was nearly finished. This final part was all about the last week that John had spent with Jesus. And it was important that he wrote down exactly what had happened, so that in years to come, anyone who read his book would know that these things really had happened. Well, Demetrius was one of his brightest students, and he brought John his evening drink. And Demetrius inquired, Have you nearly finished? John replied, Almost. Almost. Would you like to see? Demetrius picked up the parchment from John's desk and he began to read. Near the cross, the women watched and waited. During these last three years, they had fed him, cared for him, and now they stood huddled together, frightened and upset. What were they to do? What would happen after Jesus was dead? Jesus looked down and saw his mother standing there. He searched the faces in the crowd and then, as if he had read their minds, he called out to her, dear woman, here is your son. Mary didn't understand what he was saying. Then she looked up and she saw John, Jesus's dear friend, standing nearby. 
As she looked at him, she heard Jesus say to John, here is your mother. John moved over to Mary and he put his arm around her shoulder as together they watched and they waited. A little while later, Jesus called out, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and died. One by one, John, Mary and the women left. Jesus' body was taken down from the cross and placed in an empty tomb in a nearby garden. Two days later, John was sitting quietly with his friend Peter when the women came running up. The tomb, the tomb is empty, panted Mary Magdalene. They've taken him away, cried the women, and we don't know where they've put him. Peter and John leapt to their feet and they looked at each other and ran as fast as they could to the tomb. John got there first, as he always did. John peered nervously into the tomb and it was gloomy inside, but he could see enough to tell that Jesus' body had gone. Just as he was trying to work out what had happened, Peter arrived, puffing and panting. He pushed past John, stumbled into the tomb and then stopped and stared. John crept in behind him. They looked around and they blinked as their eyes got used to the gloom. All that was left was a pile of burial linen and a single white cloth folded up on one side by itself. John looked and he smiled. I wonder, he thought to himself. That evening, one by one, Jesus' friends arrived in the meeting room. Once they were all safely inside, they locked the doors, frightened that the soldiers would arrest them too. The news of the empty tomb had travelled fast. What did it mean? What had happened to Jesus? Mary Magdalene was convinced that she had seen Jesus. She claimed that he was alive and that she had actually spoken to him. No one knew what to believe. Then... Suddenly, without any warning, Jesus was there, standing among them, smiling and reaching out his hands. Peace be with you, he said. The room fell silent. They stared in amazement. Was it really true? Were their eyes playing tricks? Was this really Jesus standing right in front of them? They looked at one another. First one smiled, then another. Then they burst out laughing and cheering and jumping up and down. They were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Demetrius asked, Is that how it really happened? Yes. John nodded. And Mary, Jesus' mother, she stayed with you after that. John, yes. John nodded again. And he smiled as he remembered the smell of Mary's cooking and the taste of her matzah bread. And the tomb, the tomb, was it really empty? Yes. John nodded again. And you really did see Jesus in the meeting room? Oh, so many questions. Yes, yes, yes. All these things really did happen, just as I've written. Demetrius claimed, what an amazing story. And John smiled, happy that the amazing story of Jesus and his friends would be read for many years to come. John wrote down all the things that happened when he was with Jesus. It's one of the most important books in the Bible. He wanted to share his memories so that people like you and me could read them. Close your eyes for a moment and think about something important that has happened to you. Something that you want to share with your friends.
Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, you can say amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that John wrote down all the things that he could remember about his time with Jesus. Thank you that we can still read them today. Amen. Amen. Well, what a great story. Thanks to the Open the Book team for bringing that to us today. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope it helped you to really think about the Easter story. And we'll be back again next week with another Easter story to explore together. We hope you have a really good week, everybody. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.